Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. We are two sisters, Southern Cooking. back together today hey and we're doing something unusual we got the GoPro on the counter you might be able to see it we have Elsie's Canon up here and I have my Canon there so we're expanding our horizons <laughs> plus we have more light so hopefully you can actually see us now and uh, be able to uh, see what we're doing so we decided to give you a three-point view yeah which is kind of new and it's also kind of unique because there's not many people out there doing this so we wanted to be right the unique ones so uh, I've had my camera for oh goodness two years at least I haven't used it I didn't even know how to use it I, she had to teach me a week ago how to use it because it's similar to hers and the clarity I, I, we got on the Canon right was amazing right so we decided that we would try utilizing it above instead of the GoPro and that freed up the GoPro so yeah. we could give you an extra side view yeah so anyway so it is fall we're headed quickly to winter time around here um so cherries are fall to me yeah Cher cherries and apples and stuff like that yeah. um so we're gonna make a, a homemade cherry pie today mm -hmm. so we have our cherries here these are frozen um cherries that have already been pitted yeah if you wanted to use sour cherries, you just have to increase your sugar amount in the recipe. Right. Um, and we will tell y'all that in the recipe. And but these are already these, pitted too. These are already pitted. You, if you buy fresh cherries in the produce section, which they should be available in your grocery expensive. store right now. Expensive. Yeah, they Good are. Lord. Cherries are expensive. Yes. But you would have to pit them. So we chose to use frozen sweetened so you don't have to use as much sugar. And this is really simple. We um, have a recipe that we do not have to cook them down first. So we have cornstarch um, that is what is going to be using to thicken them. Okay. And we have sugar. And it's three quarters cups of sugar for sweetened cherries. If you have sour cherries, um, which I don't mind either of them, honestly, because I like tart stuff. Not everybody does. Not everybody does. Um, but these are sweetened, so it's only three quarters of a cup. If it was sour cherries, you would do a cup. Right. So she's putting in the sugar, and we're going to put in the cornstarch, and then we're going to do the, the cinnamon juice, and, and then the cinnamon. Morris just walked in, so we're, we're asking him for whether he likes cherry pie or not. And we have our cinnamon. And Elsie and I did something fancy with the lattice, too, yeah. for, our, for our dough. So we have, we have something fancy to put on top of our, our pie. So our thickener in this is going to be cornstarch. Sometimes it's flour. It depends upon which one the recipe calls for but this recipe calls for cornstarch and it will also it, it helps nice. it helps to keep them separated too yes so that they stay individual yes and you can do that with flour too mm -hmm. it will help to keep them elevated where the space that they're in especially when you're making like um like breads or muffins mm -hmm. or something always put your cornstarch or your flour, or your flour in and it'll help around your fruit it'll keep them from sinking to the bottom yes now there's way too much of this in here to, for it to sink because it's going to be full with yeah. cherries, so they won't. It doesn't matter, right? But we're using the cornstarch as a thickener in this one today. And this is two and a half pounds of pitted cherries for this recipe. Mm -hmm. So at Walmart, you can get two and a half pounds in the frozen food section, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper than buying them fresh. Yes. Yeah, so if you want fresh, more power to you. If you want fresh, you're going to probably spend close to ten dollars yes. or more for that much cherries. And this bag, I think, was like four something. Yeah. So, so you definitely pay. Yeah. I know that Sabrina, she loves fresh cherries. Oh, I do too. Loves them. Fresh cherries is good for gout too, by the way. Yeah, it is. So, and, um, so right, you want to go ahead and pour in? Yep. Go right ahead. Get it poured in and we'll 
then we'll take our butter and we'll dollop the butter all over the top of it and then we'll put our lattice work on top. And these pie crusts are the Jiffy pie crusts. They are our go-to. 77 cent at Walmart. All you have to do is mix it with water, roll it out with your rolling pin. It's so much easier than it's it so I mean, easy. I know that if if you, we can make a, a actual um, pie dough from scratch, but why? We do it all the time. And but um, why? I mean, it, it truly is um, a time saver and it's so easy. Let's lean a little bit over to that corner right there. Every, we want everybody to have a, a load of cherries. There we go. All right, I diced up a tablespoon of butter, and it's probably going to be a little. Oh yeah, those are. So we're just going to take these and put these on the top. Just break them up. They're not. They're they're getting at room temperature, so it's starting to get starting a little, to melt, melt. So it's not going to hold its shape. So yeah. I'm just going to break it a little bit. The butter's just going to give you some added flavor. Okay. All right. So if you want to know how to crisscross your lattice, we'll show you. So you lay down your one side first, like this. Don't don't uh, crimp them. Right. Just lay them down. Because we're going to be lifting them up. And um, then you're going to. You're going to be uh, braiding, basically. Braiding it, yep. All right. <laughs> in the freezer so we have our egg wash here and you have the sugar and we're getting ready to put in the oven 425 so I'm gonna brush it with the egg wash that'll get everything set when it's at 425 with high heat and then we'll come back in and lower the temperature and then we'll let it cook its on its way out so it doesn't burn. Because if you left it in there at 425 for the 60 minutes or 50 minutes, then it would be right. nuked basically. So yeah. you want to be able to do um, low and slow after you would get the initial. So we are using turbinata sugar now. If you don't have turbinata sugar, never fear. Use your granulated sugar. Right. It works just as well. I've used it a thousand times if I used it once. And uh, but Elsie does have turbinado, so that's what we're going I've to use. I've had it for a long time. It doesn't really. It takes a long time for for that to go bad, and I don't use it that much. But it, it will hold up for a long time yeah. in your pantry. Yeah, it does. Yes, because this is since we have been doing the sister show. She's had, had the same, same box. box. <laughs> so, and it's good until 2024, so. Yeah, so it, it definitely <laughs> has a long shelf life. It does. <laughs> and it's very sticky, too, by the way. It's very sticky, so. 
I think we are good to go into the oven, Elsie. Now, a little word of advice. Put a pan underneath any kind of fruit pie that you're baking. Just in case it bubbles over. It will. It causes you a mess. Trust me, <laughs> it will. Because it is guaranteed that it's going to bubble over. So, yeah. when it does, all you do is just put it under there and you don't have a mess to clean up in your oven. Uh, and all you have to do is clean up your pan underneath. Yeah. And if you want to be super smart about it, Put a piece of parchment paper or wax paper down underneath your pie, and then all your way you have to do is just roll Throw up it. your your wax paper right. or your parchment paper, and you just toss it, and then you have a clean pan. So, yep. any steps to make life a little easier for you guys? All right, guys, we will show you what this looks like when we get it out of the oven. It's going to be spectacular. I can already tell. It's beautiful. I tell you what, this is probably one of the prettiest looking pies we've done. So yeah. I have to say, we are super excited for it. So we will see you guys in our next video. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. This show is produced by Two Sisters Productions, McRae, Georgia.